Welcome back. Marin Rogers is here. And as usual, we're going to talk about everything that's going on around town. And one of the things we're going to talk about is not so exciting, and that is it's flu time again. So maybe time to get a vaccination. Yes, so flu season is here. We are at the 1st of November, and it is highly recommended that if you are an elder person, if you are pregnant, if you're a child, and basically anyone in our community, please go out and get a flu vaccination. They are here, Betsy, in our area right now. They are available, CVS Pharmacy, Walgreens, Doctor's Care, and they are covered by most insurances. And also, at a few of our drugstores, you can get a credit. So you, if you spend 25, you get a $5 gift card. So there's lots of great incentives to go out and get your family vaccinated. And also, Betsy, in doing my research, found out that there has already been one death in the state of South Carolina in the upstate from the flu. So let's not have that happen in our community right here in Bluffton. Yeah, and we had a really bad season last year, so let's make it a better one this year. We did, and I just really want to preface, let's go out there, get our vaccinations for our children, for us, and also for our elderly. Absolutely. And so also um, this, this week, the ACT scores came out for the schools, and I think we've done a little bit better, but maybe there's a little bit of a but in there. Tell me about that. Yes. So ACT scores came out, and our high school seniors in Beaufort County, there were over 1,200 that took the ACT test, and they scored 18.7. And the average in our state, or average in our county, was up from 18.6. But this national average is over 20 points. So Dr. Rodriguez, who's our brand new school superintendent, really wants our seniors to work a bit harder to get those grades up a bit more because that just puts them in better perspective for getting into those colleges. And college admission tests are becoming more and more you know, competitive. And so he just wants to get those scores up, continue. So kudos to those seniors for getting them better. But let's just continue on that path. Yeah, a little bit more work to do, but good job in getting them up. At least it's going in the right direction. Correct. And so um, I mentioned in the headlines a little bit earlier, and we're going to talk about right now, there's a little bit of a dust up going on with Village Park Homes um, and them wanting to expand a little more than the community maybe wants them to. Tell us a little bit more about that. Correct, Betsy. So the area at New Riverside, Austin Park specifically, is one of our fastest growing areas for construction right now in Greater Bluffton. And I live out there too as well off of that 170-46 corridor. And it is when you have a community that has said, okay, we are approved for 75 new home sites in a community and then turns around and submits that it's going to be 282 homes there's a little bit of a problem there. There were some closed door meetings with the developer last week at in Bluffton Town Hall, and citizens need to know because, Betsy, the schools are already overcrowded in Greater Bluffton, specifically Pritchardville Elementary and May River High School, as we know, is new, and they already had to add on classrooms. So with that, you've got overcrowded schools, infrastructure, driving through neighborhoods, and just population growth. So let's see if Village Park Homes can do something to correct this and get us back on this path because it's very important to those communities and residents out there. Right, they've done a great job in keeping home costs um, really pretty affordable for people, but let's, let's keep that growth in check. And thank you, Marin, for being with us and keeping us in the know. As always, it's good to see you. Thank you, Betsy.